The Chinese government is blasting pro-democracy protesters who shut down Hong Kong's airport and fought with riot police. Some demonstrators, on the other hand, are now apologizing to travelers for the violence that grounded hundreds of flights during the past two days. Our Deborah Pata is in Hong Kong and has been at that airport. Deborah, big question here is how is Beijing going to respond to these protests? Well, good morning. Things have returned to normal here at the airport, but Beijing has weighed in on the chaos we saw last night, calling the protests an act of terrorism. And in these newly released satellite photos, we see Chinese military vehicles being moved into a sports stadium, apparently along the Chinese border. Armed with pepper spray and swinging batons, riot police stormed Hong Kong's international airport last night initially trying to help first responders reach two injured men. Defiant protesters gave chase. They seized an officer's baton and turned it on him, only retreating when he stumbled back and pulled out a gun. Accused of being Chinese spies, these men felt the full brunt of protesters' rage. In two separate incidents, they were kicked, beaten, punched and drenched in water. Protesters convinced they were undercover officers from mainland China attempting to pass off as one of them. This man was bound with cable ties and left on the ground in a fetal position. Finally, emergency workers were allowed to take them away. Hong Kong lawmaker Fernando Chung rushed to the airport to assist, arriving as the violence erupted. We're in a situation that people are getting ready to fight. And many young people are ready to sacrifice themselves. Um, and we don't want to see that happen. I need to see my family. For two consecutive days, protesters paralyzed airport operations. Hundreds of flights were canceled. Travelers are fed up. Hey, guys, come on. Come on, you've been really selfish now. This morning, protesters held signs at the airport apologizing for their actions, but a collision course has now been set with both police and protesters more quick to use force. Now, China can only intervene in Hong Kong's affairs if they request military assistance. And most Hong Kongers here think that that would be a step too far for China and that a Tiananmen Square style crackdown is unlikely. Gail? Deborah Pat in Hong Kong, thank you. Those pictures are still very tough to watch. Imagine landing in Hong Kong, getting off of a plane to that.